Hello, in today's video I'm gonna be giving you a review of my new Corex gaming desktop by MSI that I just bought uh, from Costco. As you can see the computer comes nicely packed comes with instructions and we get some cables, connections and probably even more instructions in the manual inside of the pouch. We also get a MSI keyboard. This is gaming type of keyboard. Really cool looking mouse and also the cables and then we have instruction what is very important that we need to follow that because inside of the computer there is a foam packaging that you need to remove before you can even store the computer. Uh, my old computer, I don't know if you can see that over there, it's so much longer. This one is a little bit shorter, it's uh, tall as regular computer. So on top of the case we have LED button to turn the LED lights on and off, two USB ports, microphone, headphones, this is the reset button and power button. On the front of the computer there is basically nothing except two fans. There are no connection ports. On the bottom of the computer we can see mesh filter for the fan that is inside of the case to make sure there is no dust coming inside of the case. And we have something that we can open, which I'm gonna inspect later. And nice rubberized legs on all four sides. And of course mesh front of the computer. Now let's take a look at the back of the computer. So from the top we have two USB ports, one mouse and keyboard connector. This is GPU port, okay. Another USB ports, two more USB ports, and here we have on the left USB-C connector and another USB connector for solid state hard drives. And here we have audio output connectors. In the back of the panel of the computer you have two ports for Wi-Fi antennas. The computer comes with two antennas that you need to connect right here to properly get the signal to the computer and you can rotate it like that. This is our slot for the graphic card and we have HDMI connector and three PCI connectors. On the bottom we have convenient power on and off switch button. Also you can see nice big exhaust fan in the back of the case. On the left side of the computer you have a tempered glass clear window. We need to remove that first. You don't need them as screwdrivers or you can just use your fingers to open it. These days there's so much miniaturization of all the computer components that you don't really need so much space. Cases get smaller, therefore all the parts get smaller so we have so much more space in here. So I'm going to go and remove this. Okay. This is protective bag. I don't know what's inside. So this is what we have inside of the computer. Let's take a closer look. Mother boy, this is huge cooling fan for the CPU. We have two slots out of four taken for the memory cards. And this computer had GeForce RTX 3060 12 gigs graphic card, which looks really, really awesome. An entire bottom part is taken by the power supply. Like in all new generation computers, there is no way to install internal DVD drive. There is just no opening through the front of the computer. Uh, but you can have two additional hard drives connected on the bottom right of the case and all other peripherals have to be connected through external USB ports. So to open the left side of the computer, we need to remove those two screws 
for this I need my screwdriver, they're already too tight to do it by hand. Let's put those aside and let's see what's going on on this part of the computer. So here we can see the bottom of the motherboard and now this is our one terabyte solid state hard drive and here we have access to the hard drives. So here we have access to our regular hard drive and then we can put additional hard drive right here so we have a bay that is located on the bottom. In my previous cases all the hard drives were located kind of in this area but because this computer got so much shorter uh, everything is connected right here in the, on the bottom. Computer is super silent. It has two fans in the front, one inside of the bay that illuminates your computer and we have option to change the light colors uh, or you can just turn it off completely. So it looks very cool. Now I want to show you the benchmark test that I did. So I downloaded the program from User Benchmark. So you can see the results. This is MSI Pro B660, 32 gigs of RAM, and I have 32 gigs on the graphic card. So as you can see, this is Intercore i7 12700F. Performed pretty good. Graphic card performed really, really great. This is NVIDIA RTX 360 with 12 gigs of RAM. As you can see, it performed very well. Now computer comes with solid state hard drive. This is one terabyte that performed pretty good. And this is another hard drive, two terabyte Western digital hard drive. There is a regular hard drive. It performed a little bit slower, but this is the drive that I use just for storage. And this is my additional uh, one terabyte hard drive, uh, regular one that I use as the backup to my uh, drive C. This is the results of the DDR4 uh, memory that uh, came with the computer. Benchmark runs 79. I'm pretty happy with the results. Everything looks pretty good. I use this computer mainly for uh, graphic uh, processing uh, on my Sony Vegas and now I can process full 4K uh, footage with full uh, resolution in the preview whereas before everything was freezing up and just uh, processor itself couldn't even handle that. So this computer works really smooth like a butter now. So, so far I love this computer. It's really fast, works great and the price was good also. Right now as you can see it's unavailable on Costco. I bought it on Costco during Black Friday. It was only $1,100. You can probably buy it uh, in ad on other places, maybe on Amazon. Uh, at that time, the price was $14.99. Uh, it's still a great deal with 32 gigs memory and 12 gigs uh, RTX card. It was really, really great deal. This computer comes with Windows 11 pre-installed and also has a really, really good MSI Center a program that uh, has a lot of customization options if you want to play with that and it also comes with Norton security free for 90 days and after 90 days you can get a subscription up to three computers for only a dollar for additional year so it's a really good deal if you have any questions uh, send me an email I'll be more than happy to answer your questions thanks for watching guys goodbye